Hey, welcome back to Bear Squid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a classroom uh, timetable app that's gonna really streamline things for you and your students. So for the longest time, I've been looking for a classroom app that I can use with my students so that they can add tasks to their courses uh, and have notifications so that they can um, fulfill like their tasks before they're due. One of the major things feedbacks that I've been giving my students, okay, is organization. And one of, one of these key, key um, sort of factors for success, especially that we've been doing blended and online during this uh, June last year and going into this year, is organization. So it's, it's gonna work wonders for students to have something, an application that they can use to have everything in one spot. So this app application I'm talking about, it's uh, on Android, it's on um, iPhone, and it's on iPad as well, okay? And I think you can actually get it on Mac as well. It's cross, cross platform. So I've been playing around with this. this, is a really good application. It's called Class Timetable, and it's free to download. I've really enjoyed using it, so I'm gonna uh, do a little deep dive and give you a little tutorial on why it's good for me, why it's been good for me. So let's go ahead and go straight into um, the timetable here. And so this is my weekly timetable. This is what it looks like. This is the timetable. It will be blank, of course. It will be empty here. Uh, and you could go ahead and start populating it with your timetable. What I've done is I've added my courses in here and I've specified the times and the, and, you know, the, set, the sort of sessions that I have. The app's great because it builds a smart directory. So as you uh, populate your timetable here, it's gonna give you the options that you've already input. So for example, let's say Friday, I wanna add advisory to the top as well. So all I need to do is I need to click on the plus button and then I can select from the bottom here one of the courses are already in port. So I'm gonna click on advisory and then it populates it with the correct timing as well. So you can see here, look, I've got the correct timing here and I've even got the information here. I'm gonna come back to this information part. That's really quite important. I could go ahead and press on save. And now you can see on a Friday, it's populated the day with advisory right at the top. I could go and carry on um, adding more courses here for the Friday. So let me go ahead and add, I don't know, maybe I wanna add, um, I've got a grade, uh, nine block B, okay? Maybe this timing though is different. Maybe it starts uh, at 12, I don't know, 12 or five, and until 12, 45. Maybe that's the timing here, yeah? I can choose a color as well. So choose whatever color I want. I know that this course anyway um, is green. So it color codes all of the blocks that you're keeping the same color. That way you can, quickly see you know what's going on with the with the blocks that you've got anyway so i'm going to leave that to a friday you can populate your timetable uh you know uh, with all your courses so that it will have uh, everything there uh, in your schedule that's your class schedule now some students or some sc schools some institutions have a, a two-week timetable or even a three-week timetable you can do that as well so if you go to this little uh, hamburger menu up here you can click the number of weeks. So for example, if we had a two week rotor, I could do two weeks. So I've got here week one and week two. So week two, I would add uh, my courses for week two. So for example, if I go to a Monday and I press on the add button and I know that I've got an advisory in the morning, it will populate it. I can just choose the time. Uh, the time here is 7.30. Early start, isn't it? <laughs> 7.30 to 7.40 is advisory, okay? So I could just select that here and then go ahead and press save. When you set this up, it is gonna take you 10 minutes just to set up your schedule. If it's a two weeks, uh, you know, rotor schedule, then it's gonna take you an extra five minutes to set that up. But once you have done it, you'll see how wonderful this is. You know, 10 minutes of your organization, and the, you know, 10 minutes of your work, just organizing this for the rest of the semester, the rest of the year, you know, you're gonna be set. Uh, let's just say I added something in by mistake. Uh, you know, I don't have an advice. I can go ahead and edit and then I could go down here and I can delete this. Okay, just to make sure that that course isn't at the wrong time. Okay, so let's go back to week one. This is my actual schedule now. Um, what I've done here, because we've, we're doing blended learning and a lot of our classes are still online, what you can do is you can add links. So check this out. So on a Wednesday, this is what I have for a Wednesday, yeah? If I click on my grade nine block C, I can add the link right here to my Google Meet. And if I click on that, that will go straight and start the Google Meet, okay, for that particular class. Uh, I could go ahead and start and press join and that starts the Google Meet for that class. So that's wonderful. Not only am I organized because I've got my timetable, my schedule there, I can click and get, you know, the Google Meet links or the Zoom links or the WebEx links right into it. I'm gonna stop that meeting. Let's go back to timetable. 
So how do I add those links in? So when you're creating these, for example, let's just create one for, um, let's just carry on adding things for Friday here, yeah? Let's say I've got a session at nine o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and press add. I've got 10H, okay, at nine o'clock. Okay, uh, I don't know, 920, whatever, you know, it does make a difference, it's just an example. So here, when it says information, I can add any link that I wanna add there. So I can add that link there, that's for my Google Classroom. I've created that link, okay, and I've pasted it here. I could add more information as well, so I don't know, uh, of course, where info goes here. I can add anything that I wanna add there, yeah? Homeworks, okay, homework uh, on Mondays and Thursdays. So I could add something, you know, I could add something to it, not that I have uh, that going on. Twice a week homework. I could say, I, I don't know, whatever, you add your information there. So once you press save on that, if I click on this, you can see here, look, the Google meeting link is right there. So let me go back to that, look. So the Google meeting link is right there. That's wonderful, I could go ahead, I can click it and I could start my meeting straight from here. Now, I did say earlier on, this is not just a glorified timetable, it also has an ability to add tasks as well. So I can add tasks to uh, each one of my courses and I can set um, reminders as well. Now the reminder part is the pro version, you need to pay $1.99 for it, yeah? Um, for me it's absolutely worth it and I'll show you why it's worth it uh, in, in a bit. So for example, uh, so this is my schedule, this is brilliant, this is working fine for me. And I'm gonna click on task, and let's say for example, let's say what is today, today's Tuesday, yeah? Oh, Tuesday's over now. So let's say I taught this class, and while I'm teaching it, and I wanna add a task um, to this uh, lesson that I taught, okay? And perhaps we were doing something, I don't know, exercise 13 point B, 13.3, B questions one to four, okay? And that was, um, I don't know, coordinate geometry or whatever. Coordinates, whatever. I can add some information here, so I can say, I can even copy this down. So I'll copy, paste it here, and I can say students, okay, complete the attached, complete the attached doc. Okay, work out using Diagrams, um, coordinate grid is necessary, is needed. Okay, there you go, okay? Uh, and then I can also give a due date, okay? So this is gonna be due, I can give a date, whatever date and time. So let's just say, I don't know, Tuesday the 19th at 10 o'clock, okay, 10.30, okay. So Tuesday 19th, so, now, I can also set a reminder. Now, the reminder, like I said before, the reminder is a pro version. I've actually been waiting to make this video in order to buy the pro version, because I just wanted to show you how, how it works. So I'm just go ahead and I'm gonna upgrade 199. I'm gonna upgrade this. Uh, double tap this button. Perfect, okay. So now that's processing, I've bought the pro version. What I'm gonna show you is how, uh, how to use those reminders, okay, what, what you can do with it. Now, what I wanna show you is Okay, success, woo, <laughs> I've upgraded, excellent, okay. So, we'll already go back from there, set the reminder, allow. Uh, okay, so remind me, when do I want it to remind me? I need to set a time for it to remind me. Now, I don't want it to remind me, you know, the same time that is due, maybe I want it to remind me the day before so I can send out a reminder for the students or whatever. So maybe at 10 o'clock the day before, I want it to remind me. So I've set that time at 10.30 the day before for it to remind me. So I'm gonna go ahead and press save on that, okay? So I've saved that, I've set a task and I've saved it. So where are all your tasks? Where are your tasks? If you click on task, it will give this pop-up with all your tasks uh, that I do, okay? Um, that are coming up. Now you could go ahead and let's say for example, today I've done the advisory, uh, the welcome message, I can go ahead and cross that out, okay? That's my done list. Uh, or I could look at different subjects, okay, different courses, and view all of the sort of tasks that are available uh, or I've set for those subjects. Now, this is for me. This is as a teacher I'm doing this. Students will do this on their end as well, okay? So when I set a homework, they will be setting their tasks so that they can set reminders for themselves. Now, I'm not endorsing that they go and purchase this, the pro version. I'm just gonna show you how I use it. So, now that that's done, okay, I've set my timetable and I've uh, set a few tasks and I've set a few reminders, I'm gonna show you how brilliant this is, okay? So what I can do with this now is, if I go ahead and I go to my widgets, I'm gonna go ahead and add a widget here, 
okay? Uh, let's go ahead and add the class timetable widget here. Okay, so timetable. Look at this, this is brilliant. So this is why I've upgraded because the widgets allows me to see like the tasks that are due as well. So this is tomorrow's schedule. These are basically uh, things that, um, the, the lessons that I'm teaching and the things that are coming up, the courses that are coming up, okay? And that for me is very important because what I'm normally doing is I'm fiddling around looking on my phone. I've got a widget on my phone, okay, like that, that uh, tells me my schedule. Now, what I can do is I can just look at my home screen on my iPad, okay, or my iPhone or an Android phone, uh, and I can see the widgets here, okay? So look at this. So, for example, I want to set this here. I'm going to add this widget, okay? This is what's coming up next, and I can also add the tasks widget. Look at this. I'm going to go down to here, and I'm going to go down to tasks, okay? So, here we go, tasks, okay? I'm going to add, these ta add this task widget. So, let's press on done here. Look at this, look at this. I've got, okay, I've got my widgets here on my home screen. So let's just say, I'll, I'll move them right to the top, okay? I can see exactly what I've got going on, okay? The timings and the courses that I've got. So I don't need to be, you know, running around like a headless chicken figure, oh, what have I got next? I've got it right there on my home screen. The beauty is I can click on it as well and go straight to the Google Meet from here, okay? Go straight to the Google Meet and start my, my hybrid teaching uh, using Google Meet or whether it was WebEx or, you know, Skype or Zoom or whatever. So let's go back out, out of here. Also, I can see here at a snapshot, okay, the tasks that are due, okay? I've got exercise 13.3b, questions one to four coordinates. I've got all of this information at my fingertips. Now, if I click on it and I go into the app, I can see here, oh, this is for uh, week one. I've done a two week schedule, haven't I? This is week one, grade 10, uh, H block, okay? And what they need to do is compare to similar triangles, students need to complete the diagrams. Uh, and then check the answers. Here, look, I've got another uh, task here. Okay, coordinates, complete the attached doc, work out using diagrams, coordinate grid, grid is needed. And I've already done the uh, advisory welcome message. So, a basic app that really supports your organization in terms of your class scheduling, okay? So your classroom timetable, as well as your tasks. Now, I did want to do a free version. I want you to do Google, um, I went to do Google Tasks, okay, and Google Keep. I am going to do a tutorial on that, so stay tuned. Make sure uh, you subscribe and turn on notifications for that video whenever I decide to do it. Uh, I will be doing it soon. But for now, I'm really enjoying this app. I find it really useful in organizing myself, in having my schedule right there and then, uh, right in front of me. And also having this widget here, because I can see what I've got coming up. I've got what tasks I've got. So for students and teachers using an iPad or an iPhone, these are, I mean, the widgets are fantastic because you get a snapshot of what's going on. The app itself is brilliant. It's very basic in the sense of what it does, what it achieves. But in achieving organization is one of the key uh, you know, pieces of success for our students and for ourselves to be successful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, consider subscribing if you found it useful. Uh, share it with a friend. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.